why do you think that is? Do you think they're, they're, there's, they kind of have the golden handcuffs where they keep, you know, buying more stuff that they don't need, the bigger houses, the bigger cars, or is it, or is it something else? I think that's a, a big part of it, but I also think uh, part of it is they think, well, you know, I, I make good money. I don't, they think the gravy train's never going to dry up. Yeah. Yeah. And they just think, you know, I'm going to make good money till I work. And, and as you know, that lots of things could happen <laughs> and they get to be in their forties and fifties and they've got um, hardly any money saved up for retirement. They have weddings to pay for um, colleges to pay for, and they haven't, they haven't done any planning and it's uh it's sad. And they're like, well, how am I going to find this money? And, I, and, and you start talking to them and they've got the million dollar homes and the cars and all of that. And I said, well, it's tough. So yeah. uh, again, the, I've got a, my cousin that's getting ready to uh, get finished with his training um, ENT. And he's, he's been listening to all this and reading books the whole time he's been in his residency. And man, he's, he said, as soon as I start my, my job this summer, you know, I want to sit down with you and, uh, you know, help me. I already kind of have a game plan, but help me plan out. Well, somebody like that, they're going to do great. Yeah. But if you could get somebody right out of training or residency or, you know, whatever, you know, law school or whatever to, to think about that, you know, the earlier, the better.